The following video is not made for kids under 13. If you are not 13 years old, please exit out of the video now. And please, YouTube, do not sue me. Liam Oki here and I'm back with another part of what if Izuku was trained by Ryu Hayabusa this is part six so in the last part they just did their heroes versus villain tests and Ayame is their combat teacher instead of All Might if I didn't explain that in the last one and not only that Izuku and Bakugo have finally become true are becoming true rivals Instead of waiting all the way for season three. At any rate, with that said, let's get into this. After the events, what happened la the last day, Izuku is trying his best to, over to suppress emotions once more. That he can't become that emotional like he was before. If he does, he won't be able to control control his nimpo techniques and to folk and fight at his best. But with that said, he still wanted to become stronger. And not only that, he was also worried on if he should keep on becoming the blue ninja. On a couple of days he's missed, he's he's not gone on his patrols, but he's he's wondering if that if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And just decides to, well, go decides to go out night patrols for fiends tonight. Thinking that this is a good time to get some training in and to and to test out his new weapons that he, that he was given by Ryu being his tanfas and his scythe chucks as well Even his greatsword being the ember fang Which was a gift which was another gift Also, he wanted to see if Hayama being here was the it was to take care of the fiend problem not just to be his teacher but does but and wanted to see around. He sees multiple fiends in dark in couple of dark alleys and in abandoned warehouses, which he takes care of easily. However, he runs into a different fiend, which a fiend that looks that's basically distort its face is distorted, and it looks like a giant gorilla, which he's never taken on a fiend this big before. So. Even so, he still tries his best to give it everything he's got to defeat it. By using his by using his twin swords, being his dragon fang and tiger claw, his twin swords that can transform into a dual sword to get when put together. He uses these swords to cut down to try to cut it down as much as he can, moving quickly that before he could even react to it. And doing this and also switching to his Ember Fang 2 and stabs it right into the head, causing it to go down. Thinking that this is his first level of a powerful fiend that he strike pretty easily. And wondering if the media would think of this as nothing but just a giant vil a giant villain instead. As he prepares to head back home, the fiend moves once more and is about to attack Izuku and hurt and was about to crush him until uh, until gunshots were fired and the fiend and the fiend basically in pain as Izuku surprised wondering wait who would be firing a gun there are not many heroes that would use guns and as he begins being shocked as a as a woman with blonde hair and a dark black outfit basically smashes through the building the abandoned warehouses window and wielding a giant hammer basically slam slams it down onto the feet onto the fiend's head on where Izuku wounded and crushes the head entirely with no with surprise as this as sh this woman was able to kill this fiend who gave Izuku a little bit of a trouble with one hit thinking that this she's that strong as Izuku wonder, thank you. How did you? As he said, as she says, so 
Yorizuku Midoriya. Hmm. You're a lot s shorter than I thought. As he asked, wait, you know who I am? Who are you? As, he, as she soon introduced herself, my name's Rachel. I'm a friend of Ryu's. As he says, my master. Wait, are you the Rachel who's half fiend? Just that my master talked about before? As, he, as she tells him, yep, that's me. And I go around killing fiends for, and protecting the innocents all around the world. Not just, I'm doing Ryu a favor by helping him here and basically substituting for you. After all, you are a high schooler, I can tell. As he says, okay, thanks. I really appreciate it. As Izuku basically moves, basically, well, moves his head over as she wonders, you're not, can't look me into the eyes? As he says, well, I can, it's just, well, two things are distracting. As Izuku is still pretty shy when it comes around being gr around girls, even though he was, even though he is around Momoji and Ayame, and even Katsumi, his entire throughout his entire childhood, he's still he thinks of them more as sisters, but he still gets embarrassed when he's around them, especially when he's around them alone, because again he's still a t he's still a teenager and a kid, as she says, oh. I get it. Don't worry. Not to worry too much. Just focus on on becoming this, becoming a hero, and I'll take care of, and I'll take care of your patrols. And besides, I'm pretty sure he, the heroes and the and the authorities are looking for you, since you're a vigilante after all. As Izuki saying, yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks, Miss Rachel. I appreciate it. As she tells him, don't worry about it. Get going. As Izuku leaves the area, and just and she wonders, hmm. even though he's a little rough around the edges, he's pretty strong. Being able to take a fiend like this pretty easily, without what's with less damage than expected. I gotta say, he's pretty skilled. The next day begins as Izuku prepares for to go to UA for his for his class again. As he begins realizing that there's a ton of crowd of people at the entrance of UA. As he realizes, eh, I can't deal with this. As he decides to just scale the wall and just go and go through the and go through the forest area and then head to the entrance of the school. Before because, didn't want to deal with the deal with all the well press and every and the media and everything. As he gets back in class, everybody begins talking about that All Might is their teacher there. As they all realize that he, that the rumors were true of him being a teacher, and wonders if it's possible, it's possible to get their autograph, or if they're gonna, if he's gonna be teaching them one day. As Izuki saying, "Hmm, guess it was true. I would love, I would love to see All Might again, but I doubt that's gonna happen." After thinking that, he's. Aizawa soon comes in through the room and says, Huh, everyone get into your seats now. It's time for comb room class. As everyone is in their seats and quiet, Aizawa tells, about, tells them that he saw all their battle footage and says that things that they need to improve on and things that they did pretty well. And as he points at mostly Bakugo, that he was pretty emotional and that he shouldn't be, and that he's pretty strong already. Don't let one little... One little loss, deter your, deter how you feel. Got it. As, as Bakyo gets pissed off, getting reminded that he lost to Izuku. As he soon said, she looks at Izuku, Midoriya, you're quite strong and powerful. Tell me, who is it that the one that trained you? I need to know. As Izuku saying, sorry, again, I can't tell you who trained me. That's a secret. As he's saying, okay then, I'll just have to ask Night Butterfly instead. As Izuku's saying, who's Night Butterfly? I've never heard of a hero like that or a teacher. As he says, you're that Ayame, that Ayame girl, the one who's, who's your teacher for your combat class. As he said, that's her hero name she chose? Man, she, 
I guess it kind of makes sense, but still. And soon after, Aizawa said, anyway, with that said, he soon tells them that they need to make a decision that will impact their entire first year. As everyone begins feeling a cold sweat coming down, as he says, you need to choose a class rep, so get on it. As everyone takes a sigh of relief and decides to wonder who would be class rep. As just like in canon, they actually shoot the class rep being Izuku and Momo. As everyone, as Bakugo gets pissed on who the hell chose him to be class rep. As Sero said, what, you thought we would choose you? Come on. As Izuku saying, all right, I'm not really much of a leader type, but I'll take it if you guys want me to. After that, they all go to the lunchroom, which just like in Kent, Izuku and Ochiko, along with Ida, are hanging out, to, are hanging with each other, alongside Kendo as well, who's part of their group, part of their group dynamic as well, just to say. As Izuku begins thinking, I mean, I'm not going to complain about being class rep, because I am honored, but I just feel like they're somebody else in her class would be better. Like even points at Kendo or Ida, that the two of them seem like leader types that think things through a lot more easier. As Kendo tells him, I think that's not the case. As he says that I'm pretty responsible, but when it comes to certain situations, I think you would be better. As Ida also chimes in saying, I agree, it's the reason why I chose you. Mostly during the practical during the entrance exam and during the and the hero versus villain test, you performed more professionally and you were able to exploit Bakugo's weaknesses easier. A leader must real must realize both strengths and weaknesses, not just to, and that's why I chose you. As Izuku feels kind of honored and actually wants to live up to their expectations, just like before, the alarms sound off as. Everyone in the cafeteria begins freaking out and begins getting crazy. And begins getting crazy as every as even Izuku and Ida, Ochiko and Kendo began began wondering what's going on. Could it be, really be a villain attack? As Izuku begins feeling around him, as I said, there's no malice around anywhere. I don't sense it one bit. As he soon realized that he does sense a bit of frustration, not just in the classroom, but outside the school as well, realizing that it's most likely the media that got in. After hearing this, he decides to just do, do things his own way. He clears his mind and focus, and soon he's basically on, he jumps into the air and soon lands on almost everybody on their, on their shoulders and jumps and then jumps nearing at near the entrance as he says everyone do not worry it's only the media they got into the school all we need to do is focus and calm down form a proper line and then in a, and ex exit calmly as seeing this Ida feels more more calm that he chose Izuku to be the class rep after that the next the day goes on as everyone prepares to go to the USJ as usual. After what happened in the cafeteria, Izuku begins thinking that he might need to take his job as class rep a lot more serious and fo and wonders that maybe since I was chosen as class rep, Master Ryu's training really has got me this far. And not just physically and not just mentally, but socially too. As he begins thinking, telling everyone, "All right, everyone, let's get on the bus and head and head to our destination as soon as possible." As he soon gets into the bus first, as everyone else begins thinking, he's really taking his job seriously, but not in the way that we we expected. As on the way to on on the bus ride there, everybody begins explaining their quirks and how well they would be as heroes in the future. As er as everyone begins thinking at Izuku that his quirk is probably something awesome, since he, and not only that, that he does some pretty intense physical training, saying that he, 
as Izuku began saying, if you guys want to know about my training, I can show you some moves, but I can't tell you on where I did my training at. Sorry. As they began thinking, ah, it's okay, Midoriya. Everyone has their own secrets, after all. Soon after Kirishima saying this, Sue was also curious about Izuku's quirk, that it's something that he's able to manipulate fire, and not only that, and also other techniques as well, as that she heard. As she's, as Kaminari said, oh yeah, I think I heard that you were able to control lightning as well, and even shoot a, and even shoot a wind blast too. Is that true? And as he's saying, yeah, I can. I can do multiple other techniques as well. So as Bakugo getting a little bit jealous and Shoto actually getting more curious and curious about Izuku, wondering um, what, what can he not do, seeing on how strong he really is. After, after certain conversations, they arrived at the USJ where they are met with 13. As Izuku begins thinking, holy crap, 13 tier 2? Oh, this is awesome. But only says it in his mind. Remember that he that he doesn't say this stuff out loud, after all. As Izuku, as 13 explains that the USJ is where is where they'll be doing rescue training and in certain in certain zones where they'll be fo focusing on certain rescue situations that they would be good in or be bad at. As after saying this, as soon after that, a portal begins appearing in the center of the USJ with multiple people being villains coming out of it. As Kirishima and even Kendo began asking, I thought we were gonna be re doing rescue training. I thought this wasn't combat training. As Aizawa realized what's going on and same thing also goes for Izuku. As Izuku began saying, those aren't this isn't a test. This is the real deal. After saying that, a man with hands begins coming out of the portal as well, with a with a man, with a big muscular man with a beak and brains coming out as well. As the man with the hands being Shigaraki saying, "Ye students of UA, we are the League of Villains, and we have come to kill All Might." And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please tell me below what you guys think. Also, like and subscribe, which helps on my channel a lot. I would really appreciate it. At any rate, this is Leo Moki, signing out. Later.